guys, welcome to Friday. Uh, please follow along with Coach Eric at 7 a.m. on Zoom. Uh, if you're going to be coming to the gym, uh, we're going to be doing an indoor test trial class at noon. Um, so today's going to be fun. You're going to get to bench press and uh, do some other things. So for the warm up, we're going to start 45 seconds on, 15 second transition. Uh, for the cardio, you can row, uh, bike, ski, jump rope. Uh, if you're at home, you want to go for a quick jog, feel free to do that. Next, you're going to go weighted PVC pass-through. So for these, you're going to have the arms out wide, and then you're going to shrug up and over the head, and then come back through. Okay, so just be sure to shrug, and then keep those arms straight as you go forward and back. If you don't have a PVC or a band or a belt, then what you can do is just regular shoulder circles. So I would uh, do reverse circles. You can go really small, or you can make them really big. Next, we're gonna to go to a plate bent over row to an overhead press. So what that's going to look like is I'm going to hinge at the hips, I'm gonna row and squeeze for a second, I'll stand and then press out overhead. So from, I'll bring it back down, so from the side, I'm in my hinge, row, hold for a second, stand, and then press out overhead. don't have a plate, you can do the same thing with a dumbbell or kettlebell. Just hold it, row, stand up, and then press out overhead. Next is going to be our strict burpees. So this is where when we go down to the ground, instead of just flopping down, you're going to perform a push-up. Uh, I'll show you a modified version as well if you need to use your knees. So for the burpee, I'm going to have my uh, feet wide. I'm going to jump that. From here, I'm going to perform my push-up, and then I'll jump forward jump and clap. If I need to modify what I'm going to do after I jump back and go down to the ground, is I'll drop my knees and then push up and then jump and clap. So I'll jump back, go down to the ground, lower my knees to assist me on the way up, and then I'll jump forward and then jump and clap at the top. Next we're going to go weighted PVC hang power snatch. So arms are out wide, ideally I'm hook gripping. From here, I'm always going to start the first repetition with a deadlift to the waist. Then I'm going to bend my knees, push my butt back so the bar stays above the knees, and I will jump and punch. So again, the very first rep, deadlift it up to your waist, bend those knees, push the butt back, and then jump and snatch. After I've done that first deadlift, then I can just stay above the knees and keep snatching overhead. If you are using a dumbbell or a kettlebell, what you're going to do is go one arm, hang power snatches. So I'm going to deadlift the weight up to my waist, I'm going to hike it between my legs, and then snatch out overhead. I'll bring it back down between the legs and back up. Okay. So just make sure on the very first rep you're deadlifting the weight up. After that, we're going to go to a plate chest press and overhead sit-up. So for this, you're going to be on the ground, legs are going to be straight, you're going to press the plate up over your chest, and then sit up with it. You'll come back down, lower the weight, press, and sit up. You can do the exact same thing with a dumbbell or kettlebell. And then lastly, we're going to go uh, to an empty barbell hang power snatch. Um, and if you're at home, you're just going to do that hang power snatch on your other arm to warm up. For indoor and outdoor classes, uh, group A, you're going to spend 15 minutes on five to seven sets of five to seven barbell bench presses. You're going to superset that with um, five to seven single arm dumbbell or kettlebell bent over rows. After a three minute rest transition, the other group uh, is doing a 15 minute AMRAP. Five unbroken hang power snatches, 95 and 63, 200 row ski or 0.4K bike, and then 10 bar facing burpees. So the way this is going to work is group A is going to be bench pressing and rowing. Group B is gonna be AMRAPing. After the three minutes, you're gonna switch places. Group B will bench press, group A will AMRAP. For those of you that are at home, you're going to be doing something slightly different. 
You're gonna be going 40 on, 20 off, focusing a little more on upper body and core strength. You're gonna use double dumbbell or kettlebell for your floor press and your bent over rows. First round through, both arms simultaneously. Second time through, you're gonna alternate arms. And then the third time through, your right arm is gonna be working while your left arm is holding an isometric hold position. And then lastly, you're just gonna switch those arms. We're going to uh, intersperse this with some core. So we got some weighted knee ends, uh, forearm plank alternating tap, Russian twist, and then pull over to sit up. So what this is going to look like for our floor presses, you can bend the knees, elbows should be in contact with the ground, and then you're just gonna press up over the chest. So this will be both arms simultaneously. If uh, you're doing alternating arms, you're gonna press one, come down, press the other. For our holds, I'm going to press both weights up. I'm gonna hold that left arm while I'm pressing my right arm. And then the next time through, I'll hold my right arm and then press with my left arm. For the rows, what you're gonna do is go into a hinge position. So on the first one, you're just gonna row both together. On the next one, you're gonna go alternating. So we're gonna row and then row. And then for our holds, what's gonna happen is we're gonna row them up and I'm just gonna hold that left one while I'm rowing with my right. The next time through, I'll hold my right while I row with my left. For our core movements, uh, the first one's a weighted knee in. So we're gonna start and finish in our hollow body position. So my back is flat to the ground. This is my hollow body. I'm gonna come up and then tuck my knees. Notice that I kind of pull the weight over the knees and then I'll come back to my hollow body and then back to my knee in. Uh, the next one is going to be a tap, alternating plank tap. So I'm in a forearm position here and I'm just gonna tap, tap, alternating which arm I'm using. Next what we're gonna do is our Russian twist. So I like to interlock the fingers. You can elevate the feet and then rotate all the way over to one side and then the other. And then our last one's gonna be a pullover to overhead sit-up. So very similar to what we did in the warm-up. Uh, what we're gonna do is have the weight overhead, laying flat on the ground. I'm gonna pull over and then sit up. So you should feel like your lats are engaged to pull that weight overhead, and then you're gonna use your core to sit all the way up with it. For the AMRAP, so it's still gonna be a 15 minute AMRAP. You're gonna do 10 alternating dumbbell or kettlebell hang power snatches. RX is 50 uh, for the guys, 35 for the ladies. You're then gonna do a 200 meter run or one minute of jump rope or jumping jacks and then 10 dumbbell or kettlebell facing uh, burpees. Remember you gotta deadlift the weight first. Score is gonna be total rounds and reps. Um, so for this, and actually I'm gonna switch this uh, a little bit here as I'm thinking about it. What we're gonna do instead of alternating, since it's a hang, we're gonna go five and five. So we'll go five on one arm and then five on the other. So what that means is I'm going to deadlift the weight up to my waist. I'll snatch, so that would be one, two, make sure you fully lock out at the top. So that's three, four, five. At this point, what I can do is just switch over to my other arm, go right into my first hang power snatch, or if I need to take a break, I'll put the weight down, kind of shake out the arms. I'll just make sure that I deadlift the weight up and then snatch, that would be one, two, I'd go to five. So I'll do five on one arm, five on the other, my cardio, and then for our weighted uh, bar or dumbbell or kettlebell facing burpee, so I'm facing the weight, I'm going to jump back, chest and thighs touch, I'll jump up and then jump over and perform my second burpee on the other side. So make sure you get over that weight for the rep to count. And then lastly, we're gonna do just a little bit of daily mobility. Uh, if you're following along with Eric on Zoom, uh, just do what he does. Uh, if you're in class and we have time, 
for you to roll out then I just want you to do about a minute on the lats, glutes, hamstrings, calves, and some snow angels. Uh, so guys, lots of stuff today, lots of fun stuff hopefully. Uh, good luck, have fun, move on.